guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another thrift haul video, and I haven't done a thrift haul in a while, but if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I probably found the best thing that I've ever found at a thrift store since I've been a thrifter, which I've thrifted for a very, very long time, and that's saying a lot because I've done a lot of thrift hauls here on YouTube, but I definitely feel like this is probably one of my best finds that I've ever found, mostly because it's just so random, but so cool. Like, it's one of those items where you're like, I didn't know that I needed this thing, but like, now that I have it, it's everything that I've ever wanted. And I didn't even know that I wanted it. You know what I mean? But not only that, I feel like I found a ton of really good stuff in the last, like, few thrifting trips. And I feel like I've just gotten really, really lucky lately, which is always a good feeling when you get really lucky at a thrift store. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in because I feel like I have a lot of stuff to share. But if you guys are curious about the books that I recently thrifted, I'm gonna go put that on a book haul video on my book channel. I used to incorporate books into these videos on my channel before, but that was before I created my book channel. So definitely go over to my book channel. It's called Care About Books. The link is always down below, but that's where my thrifted books are gonna be. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I'm not gonna go into the really amazing thing yet, I'm gonna save that for a little bit, um, but I'm just gonna show you guys some of the smaller things that I picked up. So as you guys know, I'm a candle maker. I like to make candles, and I recently got rid of a lot of the candle jars that I had purchased in the past, just because they're not really my style anymore, or I had used them so many times I was just kind of sick of them, so I either donated them again, or I just got rid of them. And it was mostly during the move when I was just like so tired of packing, so I've been kind of collecting more new candle jars that kind of fit my style a little bit more now. So the first one I got was this. It's kind of like a, I don't even know how to like describe this color. It's kind of like a black gold brown color. The paint is coming off a little bit um, right here on the back side, but it's fine. Um, I just think that this is the most beautiful colored glass. It's like this weird mix between black and gold which I really, really like, and it's the perfect size for a jar candle, and I cannot wait to put a candle in here. I just think it's so cute. This was only 99 cents, which is amazing. I don't know how long this is gonna last me, because like I said, some of the paint is kind of coming off the back, um, but I just think it's so pretty. I absolutely love this color. And the next one that I picked up was this. It's a green one, and I'm really into the color green right now. You guys are gonna see in this video that emerald green is like my new favorite color. Um, but I absolutely love this. I love the pattern on it. It is so, 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 so cute. And this was only $1.99, but this, again, is a really awesome, like, perfect candle jar. Um, I'll probably be able to fit two wicks in here, I think, but I just think that this is the cutest little candle holder ever, and it totally matches, like, the colors I'm going for in my house. I'm definitely going for more darker tones, dark grays, dark greens. Um, maybe some burnt oranges and blacks and things like that. So I think that this is going to look really, really good in my new home decor. And I cannot wait to put a candle in here. In fact, I'm thinking tomorrow might be a candle making day. So we'll see. But I absolutely love this. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was something kind of random. And I wasn't sure how much I loved these. But I still picked them up because I love candlesticks. And I only have one set of candlesticks that I actually got at Goodwill a while ago. But I wanted a couple more sets of candlesticks because I just think they're really pretty. And these ones were cute, but I feel like I might spray paint them gold because I'm not a huge fan of the color that these are. But they're basically these like celestial candlesticks. This one is a four point star, it's not a four point star, an eight point star, which I definitely prefer. Um, I like eight point stars. I feel like they look more celestial than like a five point star. These ones look a little bit more Western to me, but I feel like these together go really, really well and they can kind of like play off of each other a little bit. But um, as you guys can see, I have the little moon behind me, but I thought that this would go really cool with my home decor. I don't know if I'll end up spray painting them or not. I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you guys think, but I didn't think that these are really pretty. And like I said, I wanted another set of candlesticks. Got those together and I think that those are really cute. I don't really know where I'm gonna put them yet. I'm still kind of organizing my house and like decorating it. It's kind of a long process. So, um, but I think these are really, really cute. What do you guys think? Okay, you guys, so this next item you're gonna totally laugh at and I totally get it because I, when I saw this, I was like, I kind of want this but I'm gonna have to like spray paint it or something. But once you guys like hear me out for a second, you guys are totally gonna get it. But when you see it, you're gonna be like, are you freaking kidding me, Kara? <laughs> so I got this. Look at this. This is a little cat statue. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Obviously though, I'm not gonna keep it this like Mod Podge look. This is a very 90s look. So it's really ugly right now. But what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to spray paint this. I don't know if I'm gonna spray paint it like a black and make it like a black statue or a gold one. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like black would look really, really cool, but I don't think I'm actually gonna put this in my house. I think I'm gonna put it outside on my back patio because I love having like little statues everywhere. I just think it's really cute. And you guys know that I'm a cat lady and I just can't help myself. And I feel like this is gonna look so cute, like spray painted black or something. So let me know what color you guys think I should spray paint this or if you guys think I should do something a little bit more creative, but I thought just like a black would be really cool, you know? So let me know in the comments what color you think I should spray paint this or what you think I should do with it because you guys might have like different ideas. You guys might have better ideas. So if you guys know what you think I should do, let me know in the comments, but I think it's so cute. This was only $6.99 and I'm sure they were like, no one's gonna buy this, but obviously if you spray paint it, it's gonna be like really cute, so. So I picked up some items for the girls, like clothing and stuff like that. Now, I love the idea of Christmas pajamas and I feel like when you're a mom, like you always see those pictures of everybody in like their matching Christmas pajamas and I love that idea. But when it comes to like Christmas time, it's like that time of year where you're already spending a crap ton of money on like presents and stuff like that. And so I always have such a hard time buying Christmas pajamas around Christmas time because I'm like, I'd rather spend this money on like a gift for somebody, right? So what I realized and what I'm gonna start doing is just buying my Christmas pajamas for my kids at Goodwill because they're so much cheaper, they're only like $3 and they have racks and racks and racks of like Christmas sweaters, Christmas pajamas, Christmas onesies, like pretty much anything Christmas themed they have on that rack. And so I was looking through them and they had so many cute Christmas pajamas that were only like $3, which is so cheap compared to buying like a full set of Christmas jammies from like, Target or something. So I got these ones for Elena. There's just like little penguins and Santas and reindeer. I just brought these home, threw them in the wash, washed them on like really hot. And they're just like fleece jammies. So cute. And they were only like $3, but you can't beat that. And I feel like Christmas jammies are one of those things too where you like to switch them up every year. You know what I mean? Or your kids grow out of them by the next year. So why spend like a fortune on Christmas jammies? You know what I mean? And I got these ones for Emery. They're just red with little white snowflakes on them. Again, these were only like $3. So really cute. And the girls wore these for Christmas if you guys watched the Christmas vlog on my vlog channel. Okay, so I also bought a few shirts for my girls. So Elena loves like blacks and grays and like really, really dark, simple colors. She's not really into the pink thing anymore. So I just got her this like baseball tee sweater thing. This is from Old Navy. She actually already had this shirt but in like a small size. Now it fits Emery, but she loved this shirt and she wore it all the time. So when I saw it at Goodwill for like, in like a bigger size, I just went ahead and bought it for her again because she really, really liked it. So this one is just a new one of the same shirt, but a bigger size. And I also got her this one, Elena. Again, like I said, she likes grays and blacks. So um, I feel like this is really cute. It has like this little keyhole in the front here. And she's actually had this shirt as well, but in different colors. She has a black one and she has a red one. And it's like this really soft, it kind of feels like LuLaRoe legging material. You know that like really soft material that LuLaRoe leggings used to be? That's like the um, fabric that it's in. So it's really, really soft and it's just your basic like black and white like tie dye look. So that's really cute. And then I found this for Emery and I was obsessed with this. This is so cute. And if anybody knows this brand, let me know. This is the brand ideology and I'm not sure where they sell ideology but this is adorable it's this cute little jacket like sports jacket type of thing and the thing I loved about this was the pattern it's so cute it has like that urban athletic vibe to it like you would see this at like an adidas store or something like it just needs like three white stripes down the arms and it would be like so cute I just love this and I love this pattern so much. I was so excited to find this. I feel like it's gonna be so cute on Emery with little jeans, like a little white tank top. I love this, a little pair of like Pumas or something like that. I just think it's so cute. And this was actually really cheap too. I can't remember the exact price because I already washed it and I took the tag off, but it wasn't expensive. And I just think it's adorable. So if somebody knows where they sell Ideology or what brand that is, let me know because I'm not actually sure. I probably should have looked it up before filming this, but I didn't. Um, I think it's so cute. So I have had a broken lamp in my living room since I lived in my old house. Like I'm serious, my lamp in my living room has been broken for over two or three years and I've just never replaced it because that's the type of person that I am. Like I just 
I'm like, whatever, it's fine. But finally it got on my nerves so bad because the lampshade kept like falling off or like falling to the side and it looked so bad and finally I was like, I need a new lamp. Um, so I went to Goodwill and they had two of these lamps at Goodwill. How cool is this lamp? So I actually saw the matching one. They had two here, which I think these are really cute. They'd look really good but like next to a bed. And I almost bought the other one because it was so cheap and they were so cute, but I didn't. I didn't buy it because I, I have to control myself. Like I don't need to buy everything. But I just thought it was so, so pretty and it was really, really cheap and it goes really good in my living room. I do want to get a new lampshade. This one's kind of like busted, but again, I'll get that whenever I get it. But I just thought this was so cute and I think this was only like $12 for like this giant lamp which if you know big giant lamps like this like if you get them brand new are usually pretty expensive so I was really excited to find this I kind of feel like I want the other one too it was still there last time I went to Goodwill but I try to have a little bit of control you know but I do think this is really cute and it looks really good in my living room I like how big it is my last one that was broken wasn't this big and so I felt like it was kind of small for the area so the next thing I found was something that I love finding at thrift stores because I feel like these are really expensive when you buy them brand new so when you can find them at a thrift store it's just like I feel like I score whenever I find them and it was this flower pot so it's basically this ceramic flower pot and it has like this striped texture on it it's really really cute Right now, I just set in this plant inside in its like original little pot. I do plan to like repot it in here eventually, but it's so cute. It's just plain white, which is really, really nice, and it's very, very, very simple. This was $4.99 for this pot, which if you bought this pot brand new, it would be really expensive. I feel like it would probably be up in like the 20s or 30s even. So I feel like this was a really, really good find. The only thing that I wish it had was a draining hole, which it does not have, which sucks. Um, but I feel like I could still use this. Like I said, even if I just set in like the original pot inside, it will still work really, really well. So, all right, you guys, now for my best items that I found at the thrift store. Are you guys ready for this? Like you guys are gonna be blown away. Like I already feel like I found some pretty good stuff at the thrift store, but these next two items are just like, I scored. Right now, if you go to my computer, you will see that I've had a Amazon like page open for like the last week and I've had emerald green velvet pillowcase covers for like throw pillows and I've been needing to measure my pillows to make sure that these pillowcases were going to fit on my pillows. Well, I went to Goodwill and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to look in the pillows really quick. I'm just going to see what they have. They usually don't have pillows that I like, but I'm just going to check. So I went into the pillow section and look at what I found. Are you serious? Like, look at these. Look at these. These are humongous. They're so cool. I love the colors. They're velvet, just like I wanted. And I love how the front has like this on it and then the back is plain. I don't know what side I'm going to use, but they're very simple. The pillowcases that I had on Amazon actually had gold piping around the edges, which I thought was really cool. But I mean, hello. If you're gonna like get this for like way cheaper at Goodwill, like I don't need the gold piping. So I was so excited to find these, you guys. They were a little bit expensive for Goodwill, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but they were cheaper than like buying them brand new so I could easily justify it because I knew that I wanted some emerald green gold pillows, emerald green velvet pillows. So when I saw these, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And they're freaking at Goodwill. I just don't understand, but I do need to wash these still because I'm pretty sure they've been used and I just don't really trust where these pillows have been. So amazing, so exciting, and I was like dying when I saw these. I was like, what are the chances? What are the chances of me finding those at Goodwill? Especially after having that freaking Amazon link open on my computer for like the last week. All right, are you guys ready for the piece that I was raving about at the beginning? The piece that was like the best thing I have found at Goodwill since I started thrifting. You guys are probably gonna be either extremely overwhelmed or extremely underwhelmed by this, but when I saw this, I like freaked out inside. And when I was carrying it out of the store, one of the workers was like, oh my God, I cannot believe you found that. That is so cool. And I was like, I know. Are you ready? This is a freaking emerald green and gold gumball machine. Are you even, are you seeing this? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It even has the key, so it works. It is plastic, like this is plastic here. I wish this was glass, it's not glass. But this is so 
Cool. So this is the brand um, Silent Salesforce Inc. And I was actually looking this up because I was really curious about it. And I looked it up on eBay and there's they're going for like $150 on eBay, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this is vintage or not. Um, if somebody knows how to like look that kind of thing up, I'd be very, very curious. But I was like so excited. Like what are the chances that I find a gumball machine in emerald green and gold? That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I brought this home and I was like, Travis, oh my God, you are not going to believe what I found at Goodwill. And he's like, what? And I'm like, and he's like, cool, <laughs> like, okay. And I already bought white gumballs to put in here. I was kind of debating, do I want to put black gumballs in here or do I want to put white gumballs in here? And then they had gold gumballs too. And I was like, I could put gold gumballs in here. I don't know. But one thing you guys also don't know about me is I'm a huge gum chewer. Like I'm a compulsive gum chewer. Like I buy a pack of gum and that pack of gum is literally gone in one day. I don't know why. I just chew gum like compulsively if I have a pack of gum. So I'm like this massive gum chewer. So now I have my very own gumball machine so I can just chew gum whenever I want. And I'm so excited because it's so dang cute. This is going in my living room where everybody can see it. I feel like it's a work of art and I am obsessed with it. So tell me, was that worth the wait? Is this as cool as I think it is? Because I think it's freaking amazing. <laughs> So that is it. That is all I found at Goodwill recently, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I plan to do more of these in the future, obviously. I always love going to Goodwill and thrifting. Um, I always know that I'm totally forgetting things. I do this all the time where I film a thrift haul, and then like a couple days later, I'm like, oh man, I forgot that, and I forgot that. So I'm sure that I'm going to have another one of these soon with like more stuff that I forgot to put in this one. But I feel like I found so many good things this time around, and I feel like really, really lucky like with all the cool things that I bought recently at Goodwill. Like... I feel like I scored. So anyways, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.